Hello everybody, I'm here today to share with you my book Tubathon TBR list. For those of you that do not know what the book Tubathon is, I'm pretty sure you've been living under a rock, uh, but I will go ahead and leave the link to the YouTube channel for the book Tubathon in the description below. What makes the book Tubathon different than other readathons are there are specific challenges that us as readers must endure. The first challenge is read a book with pictures in it. For this challenge, I'll be reading This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. Her parents also wrote part of this book and John Green uh, wrote the introduction. For those of you that do not know, Esther Earle was a nerd fighter that passed away of cancer. Uh, she was close friends with John Green and she was a major inspiration for the fart. The fart? The fault. <laughs> uh, and her life helped inspire the fault in our stars. The second and most nerve-wracking challenge is to start and finish a series. Uh, for this challenge, I'll be reading The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. I am really excited to read this. Um, I know it is a fluffy contemporary, but now that it's summer, I'm kind of just in the mood for that. Uh, I don't know much about the series. I know it's about a girl that measures her life not in years spent, but by summers lived. Uh, her and her family every year uh, go to a beach town, and I believe there's going to be lots of boys and lots of drama, and I'm going to be all about this. The third challenge is to read a book with red on the cover, and I have got that covered with book number one. The fourth challenge is to read a book that someone else picked out for you. Uh, earlier today, I had my sister come into my room and look at my bookshelf, and I just asked her to pick a random book. The first book she picked was Winger by Andrew Smith, which I already read, so I had her pick again, and she picked uh, Kindness for Weakness by Sean Goodman. I don't know much about this book. I got it off of Thrift Books a while back because I really liked the cover, um, but I think it's one of those books it's best to go in not really knowing much about it. It seems very mysterious. Um, on the back it says, uh, the big question is, when the time comes, how hard will I fight? And that's just really has me intrigued and the cover is just kind of interesting and mysterious so I'm really looking forward to getting into this and thankfully it's only like 250 pages so that'll be good for a readathon. The fifth challenge is to read a book from a genre that you've neglected this year and a genre that I've neglected this year is new adult. I am a 20 year old and I primarily only read YA so it's time for me to expand my horizons and I'm going to be reading Losing It by Cora Carmack. Um, I have had this on my bookshelf for a while. Again, I ordered it because of the cover. I got off of Thrift Books and I saw this cover and I was like, that's kind of racy. I'm intrigued. Um, I believe it is about a senior in college who is wanting to lose her virginity. So she goes to a random party, meets this hot guy, and she like invites him back to her place. And then she chickens out last minute, only to find out the next day, start of class, that the guy that she almost hooked up with is her professor. Uh, so that has me very intrigued. It sounds really funny, and I'm very excited to read this. Challenge number six is to read a book to movie adaptation. You first read the book, and then you watch the movie, and then you kind of compare the two. And for this challenge, I chose Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohen and David Levison. Uh, I chose this book because it's really tiny. And during readathons, if you guys have participated in readathons, you know you want short books to get through to kind of bump up your ego. Uh, so that is why I chose this book. And the final challenge is to read seven books, which I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this totals to be 2,054 pages of reading, which is crazy. But you know what? I'm motivated. I haven't read for a while. I've been in a reading slump. I am behind on my Goodreads goals, and I am going to accomplish these seven books in the week. So those are the books that I'll be reading during the Booktubeathon. Like always, I will go ahead and leave my social media information in the description below, including my Goodreads. Feel free to add or follow me there. And if you liked this video, please feel free to subscribe. But most importantly, please leave a comment below with your TBR video. I would love to watch it. I've watched so many. But you know what? I want to watch it again. Um, I want to see what you guys are reading. I want to help you read more. I want to share some Booktube love. And until next time, happy reading.